In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the cherry switches in the Keymouse Alpha or Keymouse Track. I'm going to be using an older model Keymouse Alpha for the demonstration. A couple things you want to do before you start. Um, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver, a pretty small head on it so that it'll fit down in the grooves on the back from where the screws are. Um, also, make sure the device is disconnected from the PC so that nothing's plugged into these. And also the power switch on the bottom is turned off. Away from the battery door is off, toward the battery door is on. So make sure it's powered off just so there's no issues. Next thing you want to do is remove, use your Phillips screwdriver to remove the five screws on the bottom that hold the top housing and bottom housing together. On the key mouse track, there is seven screws. So for speed in the video, I already removed the screws. Um, again, those five screws. And then when you open the device, open it from right to left. As you can see, all the wires come in on the left side, or most of the wires come in on the left side. So just very carefully lay it open um, so nothing's going to get scratched on this side and so that there's no wires pulling too tight. In this example, I'm going to replace this control button here. As you can, or the, yeah, it is a control button here. So next thing you want to do they should have two wires going to each switch. Um, column wires going this way, row wires going this way. So I'll also show here the row wire on this one is red, the column wire is blue. So next thing you want to do is disconnect those very carefully just by pulling on the little black connector and then bend the wires or the pins on the switch up just so that when you push it out it doesn't scratch the housing. I'll kind of zoom in here. You can see the wires are disconnected. Kind of move them out of the way. And then very carefully, probably use your fingers or something hard plastic. Wouldn't recommend a metal screwdriver that could damage something. So very carefully, just use your fingers, push on the edges of the switch, and it should pop right out, as you can see here. And I'm going to put this other switch in. I have another control switch. I already put the key cap on. So make sure the pins are straight so that when you put it in, it doesn't scratch anything. And make sure the LED on the bottom, or the LED is on the top when you set it on, so facing toward the back of the device. Line it up in there and just press it in. Should snap in. And again, you can see the pins are straight on there. And then connect the wires back how they were. So this one, the red wire went to the row. And then very carefully bend the pin down, the blue wire to the column. Very carefully bend the pin down, and the extra pins very carefully bend down as well. Just double check, make sure nothing's disconnected. All the connection, the connectors are pushed on tight, and then you can close it back together. And when you do this, make sure none of the wires are going to get pinched between the mounting bosses or the screw mounts on the housing. So 
So very carefully lay that on. Make sure there's no wires in the way. And it should go together pretty well. And then reinsert the screws and those points. Um, turn the device back on and you can connect it back to your computer.